What's up everybody, Steven C. Killer here. It's time for a new reaction video. But before that, 75% of you guys watching are not subscribed. Now recently, I was able to obtain the silver play button because we hit 100,000 subscribers. Now I'm pushing myself forward even further. We're going for 300,000 subscribers. We can't hit this goal if you're not part of this community, so hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Join the Discord so you don't miss out on any of my videos when I go live on Twitch, live on YouTube, or I upload a video. Links in the description. Don't forget, I do want to upgrade from silver to gold at one point. So help me out today and hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get into the video. What's up everybody, Steven C. Killer here, and I am going to say so much right now. I am shocked. I am baffled. This was out of nowhere. I wasn't prepared for this. Now, a long time ago, and I actually went out of my way, went to my channel, because I did a reaction to the trailer of a new Spider-Man fan film over a year ago well show me the date that i uploaded this you know it's a long time ago since i don't even use this anymore no it just says a year ago i have been following them i've been i and when i saw this set up uh to be notified for the premiere i was like oh cool i'll sit down watch it enjoy but i waited because i had some other stuff to do and when I got back and I noticed the premiere was done, I was not prepared to see that this fan film is legit actually a fan movie length sh like thing. Like I was not I I was thinking maybe an hour. But we have 2 hours. Look at this. Look at this. 2 hour long fan film but i will say one thing i'm super happy to see that within a day they're almost at two million views so much this film without even watching it from what i remember from the trailer i want to see this hit 10 million views i want to see this channel hit half a million subscribers i need that I want that. And once again, this is a nonprofit, unaffiliated with Marvel, Sony, and Disney. Show them the support that they deserve because they've put their heart, soul, and passion into this project. Like the original video, I kid you not, and I will be I will be pushing it through the entirety of this reaction. That you need to go like and subscribe to their channel. I don't care if you're not subscribed to my channel. You need to be subscribed to theirs. It does not matter. You need to go over to their channel and watch this video. Watch this movie and then maybe come back and watch my reaction. I don't know. You might. I might not get you to come back after watching the movie. I, I have no idea. I have no control over that. But I don't care. I want you to go watch this movie no matter what on their channel so they get the viewership they get the, the they get the uh runtime of your view they deserve so much and i want to see i want to see 10 million views easily within the next week i want to see this hit 10 million views within about at the very most 2 weeks but i want to see i i think this movie this is already going to deserve to 10 million views easily because when i saw this project thinking to myself this is going to be a fan movie maybe about an hour at most most fan movies fan made movies aren't aren't a two hour length it's so much money so much time so much prep so much blood sweat and tears went into this please show your support if they have a patreon if they have anything like Anything, follow them on Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. If they have anything merch-wise, please go support. Now, I've been, I've been done a lot of talking. I know a lot of people are going to go, Timestamp here is when the reaction starts. Fuck you. Listen to what I'm saying. 
And now let's go enjoy the video. Okay. <laughs> I will remove people who do that. Because that this whole beginning, this whole intro is a message to you viewers that this is a reaction. This is nothing compared to what they did to make this video. This is a reaction. And out of the respect of what they did, you should watch the movie before watching it with me. But that is your choice. And if you do go watch the movie, the link will be down below in the description. Number one link. And if you decide to come back and watch my reaction, I appreciate you. you but definitely, no matter what, show your support. Watch the original video. Please. All right. No more delay. Let's get into this. <laughs> I know a lot of people are going to bitch and complain. But that's something you need to hear. It really is. Hopefully a lot of you agree and will agree and or say yes in the comments. Let's get into this. No more delay. Six minutes in. Boom. <laughs> uh, I hope you brought snacks and a drink. I already ate. I actually just had lunch not that long ago. And I'm going to be drinking some something on the side. So, And of course, because this being a reaction, if you're here to avoid interruptions to enjoy this movie entirely... Without any pausing, any talking over, well, that's why you go watch the original on your own. Well, I'm not quite sure where I should start. I think... Spider-Man is one of my favorite series, like, heroes no matter I, uh, what. And I'm just ecstatic for this. I'm here for the two-hour ride. So much easier than... The world wasn't so upside down. My biggest problem was making it to an eight o'clock movie. Who knew how fast we'd all miss it? These shots are already amazing. It was gone before it could blink. I'm hyped because I'm also hyped because. And I guess for let's all be honest, a lot of the stuff in the theaters have been eh. The golden days had gone. And this is fan, and I'm so I'm so for this. That is a shiny car. There's a boy! That's not bad. That looking good. All right, fellas. Not all at once. I can only sign so many autographs. All right, look. If you turn yourselves in, I might throw in a collective line. Courtesy <laughs> of your Shirley. Going once. Going twice. This seems all like right, a trap. Well, suit yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you guys are the that move right there just reminds me of the Spider-Man uh, PS4 and upcoming uh, Spider-Man 2 PS5 game. I love it. I didn't notice what he was doing. It, okay, so he was cutting out a, 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 a fucking gun. Damn! Oh, there's 
fancy little villain motherfucker with the little handy flip and shit with that knife earlier. I was in the middle of something. You could have dodged that. that hurt. Out of web, though. That's not good. You're right, you dirty, straight chiller, I think. Get up. Damn. Come on out, Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider Man. <laughs> okay. If you don't want to do dinner, there's always karaoke night. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird, real funny. You ever stop talking? Okay, no karaoke. I didn't want you there anyway. Enough with the karaoke. <laughs> I'm loving this Spider-Man. He's doing a good job. I'm gonna make sure nobody has to listen to you ever again. <laughs> oh, sure. I've actually got some stand-up shows this week, but uh, you're not invited. The cinematic shots are pretty good in this too. Like they did a really good job. It's been a year since I've seen the trailer, so I don't remember a lot of things. Also, I don't know how long they've been uh, like in development of this project. I, I like I said, it's I it's anything. been a very long time since I've seen anything from them. No denying that. But I think the difference then is that I had someone waiting for me, someone to love. Gwen, I, I tried to get here on time. Okay, so that's Gwen and that's uh, Peter. Expected of you, studyingly, something like that, Peter. Is that MJ in the something back? Something like that. It's fine. And that You're Harry? Not great anyway. Told the guys you'd be late. Thanks, Harry. How you been? That's been? Harry. Uh, couldn't be better. Hey, what do you think of the Fu Manchu, huh? Uh, there's nothing there. It's still growing in. Just. Just give it some time. He's been growing it out for two weeks. Okay, no, it has not been two weeks. It's <laughs> not been two weeks. Peter, guess who we saw in the theater today? Flash Thompson, Liz Allen. Never gonna last. No, no, Miss Shuge, absolutely. There's. Actually, I, I think I just like. Miss Allen, sorry. You guys say we go grab some dinner. I, I don't know. I think I'm gonna head home. It's getting a little late. Well, hey, wait a minute. It's barely too late. I don't know. No, come on. I'll pay for you guys. Completely on me. Harry. I know the perfect place too. I, I go just. Go ahead. Go ahead. My question is, is Peter going to be after Gwen or is he going to be after MJ? Although, to be honest, I was kind of getting the feeling that like Harry and MJ might be a thing and maybe Peter and Gwen in this. Best sandwiches in New York. I can't say no to a good sandwich. Okay. That's more like it. I had you to love, Gwen. And we had MJ and Harry. And we all had each other. Wait, did I see what I think I saw? Is that on 
Uncharted? That's Uncharted. <laughs> and we all had each other. I think there's a joke there. <laughs> the four of us had that rare bond you only experience and see every so often. Maybe once or twice in a lifetime. I'll never get to hear the sound of their laughter. With yours ever again. I wish we had more time together. All of us. Oh, is this gonna be the story of how like Gwen and Stacy dies? Until you... This is a flashback moment. Hey, Mr. Superstar. Harry! Yeah? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. The, the rain. Oh! Motherfucker gonna propose? He's got the rock? Hey, thank you for subscribing. Stay sharp. Don't forget the knee. You know the drill. No pressure. No pressure. Thanks, Harry. Seriously, don't mention it. Harry, are you coming? Yeah, just a sec. Don't screw this up. Yeah, he's proposing to Gwen. And then that means Harry probably is going to be with MJ in this whole situation. Look, I'm sorry I didn't make it tonight, and I, and I'm sorry I have to keep on saying I'm sorry. You know how it is with May and, and the bugle. I, I'm really trying to be better. I know you are. Let me make it up to you. Either two things are going to happen here, I feel. He's going he's going to wimp out on the proposal. Or she might say no. Or not. Or she may not be ready. I know what you're doing, Matt. We could go upstate this weekend. Go see the lakes. Oh. Go to that uh, fancy spot you like. I could have spent our entire lives without being tired of hearing her voice. The way you understood things, the way you saw people, your passions, your interests, it was, you were perfect. And I wish I told you that more often. Because when I look back to that night, I just wish we'd held on to it a little longer. So I trip up to stay. What's the occasion? Uh, no reason. Uh, just to get away from everything. Okay. Wait, Gwen. There is a reason. Do it! Don't be a pussy! <laughs> do it! I don't think he's gonna do it. Do it, Peter! I don't think he's gonna do it. Because. Because what? <sighs> he's not doing it. You know 
what it, it can wait. Right now, I want to. Damn it! Why you got up here? Damn it! <laughs> I know that's not really an easy thing to ever do, but damn it! Completely perfect and beautiful. Although he kind of made it a little bit obvious, so she probably has a feeling she knows what he was about to do. Right, look here. Wait a second. This is all off the bat. Once again, we're, we're about to hit 15 minutes into this. Guys, this is going really off. Like, ah! So good so far. So fucking good. See the green goblin, okay. Like, I don't know about you guys, I'm just I've always been a big Spider-Man fan, so this is just getting me excited. Once again, please, I implore you, go show these guys support. Link in the description. Do it! Everything I've seen so far for fan film is amazing. This might be one of the best fan films that are like two hour long length wise. I haven't seen a lot of those. I've seen a couple things maybe close to two hours, but not like full on two hours. Off the bat, this is going to be one of the best ones I think. Also, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, and this is definitely in my interest of... I, I just... I, yes. I like the comic book intro aspect they're doing with this. See where they're going with the uh, with the comics. Good morning, New York City. We are coming on the air with some rather unfortunate news. To report that businessman and former head of Oscorp, Norman Osborne, has been confirmed dead in an abandoned warehouse near Breezy Point, New York. According to the autopsy report, it occurred around 5 a.m. this morning. Sources say they saw Spider-Man fleeing the vicinity. Oh! Blade wounds and several scars. So this is taking place after that? Oh my God! Okay. The NYPD is working closely with J. Jonah Jameson, publisher of the Daily Bugle, to hold Spider-Man accountable for his trail of suspected killings. Following the deaths of Captain George Stacy, his daughter Gwen Stacy, and now the most recent victim, Norman Osborn. His son. Harry Osborne, an heir to the Oscorp Empire, has gone missing. This is going into a very dark path for Spider-Man. Oh my God, I'm excited! But at the same time, this is this is holy shit, holy fucking shit. Perhaps 
took concern that he may be the Wallcrawler's next victim. It seems that Jameson may have been right all along. Fuck, the city's gonna turn against them. Maybe... Maybe after that whole incident, he avoided them finding out that he was the Green Goblin, so that's why they're not spaced. Because they didn't talk about how... They only said they discovered his dead body. They didn't say anything about him being the Green Goblin, so maybe for some reason I can see why, but he probably got rid of the Green Goblin suit. But in the, and also, but he's so banged up in that scene. That would be so tough. It is something Spider-Man would probably do. feeling that you might be here. Never got the chance to propose. And Jonah. And Robbie. What are you doing here? Oh no. I'm asking you why you're here. What do you want? I'm worried about you, Peter. You're worried about me? Yes. I'm trying to recall when I've ever seen you worry about anything. Okay. None of you get it. I don't want to talk to anyone. Peter, don't get mad at me for trying to help. You're not trying to help. Yes, well, I know better than most. You never cared about that. Never. Oh! Oh! Get to the point. Why are you here? Because everything's a mess, Peter. I haven't seen you in weeks. Harry is gone. Nobody wants to go out with me anymore. What, so you came to bug me about it? No. I, I came by to see if you wanted to go to a party or something. Party? To clear your mind. She wants somebody to help her be uh, someone. She wants to help Peter, but at the same time, she needs Peter to help her be a distraction. You're a joke. What? I knew you couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle what? Not being the center of attention just for a second. The life of the party loses her spotlight and doesn't know what to do with herself. That's not true. It is true. You're so unaware of yourself, it's not even funny. You don't care about people like me and Gwen. She didn't live life like it was a constant game. Maybe if you took a second to think, you could have learned a thing or two from her. So leave. I hate to ruin your fun. Is that a, a letter f that sh Gwen wrote or something? Take this. It's for Spider-Man. Robbie, he was wondering if you could give it to him. He's retired. Retired? He can't hurt anyone else. If you give this to him, I'm gonna tell him that he is not responsible. By the way, the music in the background, really good job. And yeah, this is gonna be during the arc where he's basically quit being Spider Man. Responsible for what happened. And I think that you both know that.
try not to say anything just in case of spoilers for anyone watching. Oh. Someone's in his house. Or apartment. Is it going to be Harry? Okay, <laughs> just casually wearing the web shooter. Harry. Okay, I called it. It was Harry. Harry. Oh, alcohol. I'm assuming there might have been uh, I, I couldn't tell from the other, the other scene, but I'm assuming there was probably like drugs or something, so. Um, keep everyone worried and all you can say is I'm fine. Where'd you even been? I told you, it doesn't matter. Harry, can you just take a second to listen? It's nothing you have to worry about. I don't have to worry about Oh, yeah. Okay. You could have overdosed. That's the problem. You abandoned everyone. Please, you're one to talk about abandoning people. It has nothing to do with this. It's about Gwen. Do you realize that? She just died. So did his dad. Well, then where were you? Why didn't you show up? She had a funeral. Everyone was there. May, Liz, Flash, Jonah, everyone. And yet here you are, running around, doing whatever you want, hiding. My father just died. He's going through shit I thought too. You of all people would be able to understand that. I will admit, for Harry, what he's probably going through, I don't know if this is gonna involve him knowing Spider Man is the one that killed his dad or anything like that, but realistically. Gwen was still a friend for him that just died, and so did his dad. He's going through shit. He ain't the only one, Peter. Sorry, but you weren't the only person who lost something that day. Yeah. You can't admit that because you're too selfish to think about anyone else. Nothing is ever a problem until it affects you. Harry, I haven't seen you in weeks. And the first time I do, you're passed out on the couch acting like everything's fine. Look, I get that your dad's Stop. Dead. I'm not trying to just death. Stop. You can't just stop. I thought we could get past our differences, and I thought we understood each other, but we don't. I don't owe you anything. I give you this place to stay. I give you money when you need it, and I help you send failed proposals. You coward. Why do you stay here? Why don't you just leave? Both kind of doing the same thing, though. He, Peter, might be verbally pushing people away, but Harry, you're hiding and taking drugs to push people away.
What's wrong? When? You killed me. Oh, whoa! And I understand. They were cowards. If she didn't live life like it was a constant game, maybe if you took a second to think, you could have learned a thing to Cowards. She just died. Another broken promise. Another life taken. Because of you. Death follows you like a shadow. You're a poison. And my soul for Off the bat, this green goblin looking good! Oh my god! And the voice, let's go! Now that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted. Nevermore. Fucking tastic green goblin off the bat. A USB drive. Maybe left behind by Harry?
Oh, uh, huh, prom. He's gonna go see the kid. He's gonna put the suit back on for the kid. Go see him. It probably needs to be fixed up a little. Unless he has got a backup. Wait, 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 Peter. Come on. Don't just leave your tattered fucking uh, Spider-Man outfit in the closet like that. No, you don't do that. Harry was in your house. I will say the acting in this is not bad at all. Like this has really been really good acting. They, they, uh, everyone's doing a fan fucking tastic job. As another reminder, watch and support them. Link in the description. I wonder if Harry's gonna find out about his dad being the Green Goblin. Because if this becomes a story of Spider Man versus the Hobgoblin, that'd be pretty cool.
That was a good transition shot. That was awesome. At first I thought someone was maybe watching Harry. That was a good transition. CGI in this is really good. For fan film, this is really fucking good. To be honest, I've seen worse CGI in some movies. <laughs> CGI in this movie is better than the recent Flash movie. Quinn. Quinn, wake up. Just saying! Wake up, Quinn. You're safe here, okay? Quinn and each other. Quinn. Shots of the Green Goblin so good. Oh, okay. I love the fact that they're going super comic accurate with the Green Goblin. I love that. Pulling his punches right now. This is 
full rage. I'm gonna assume that maybe when he dies, when Green Goblin dies, he reverts back to his human form. And maybe that's why people don't know that Harry's dad was the Green Goblin. This is what you are. <laughs> yeah, he fucked him up. I was worried that we weren't going to see any of this because they did the quick recap kind of thing with the comics. But I'm so glad they actually filmed this and we got it. So fucking good. Thank you for subscribing. Fantastic. Hey there, Blondie. Hey there, Superstar. How'd your audition go? They've got no idea who they're missing out on. No. No, they really don't. Hey, look, I know that you were thinking about London. Are you still planning on studying abroad? No. I don't know. At least not before I get the chance to see you on the big screen. You've got time. I think it'll be a while before you see me up there. MJ, I've got nothing but time. They were good friends. I just don't know how many more almost I can take. You just have to wait for one more yet. You are gonna be up there, and when you do, I'm gonna be in the front row. I'll see you in London. I guess you will. <laughs> you know, last I checked, the party's actually inside. Flash. Oh! Quit smoking. I was not expecting to see Flash here. I was thinking either Harry was about to show up or maybe Spider-Man? Flash of all people? Yeah, well, a lot's changed since then. I, uh, I can leave you alone if you want. I, I didn't mean to bother you. It's fine. So, um, 
Where's Harry and Peter? Is everything okay? Everything's fine. MJ, come on, don't act like I haven't seen that look before. What look? That look. Look you'd always try to cover. If I remember correctly, it usually had something to do with Peter. <sighs> you know, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I was always a little bit jealous of him. Hmm. He's always somehow getting looks from Gwen, Liz, or you. I know you two are close now. Yeah. You kind of went off on me today. I'm sorry. I doubt he meant anything he said. How do you know that? Flash actually being considerate and a nice person? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Although later in some of the series he does, but still. What the fuck? You no, know, uh, I used to hate him. I think he hated me too, back in high school. But even after everything I did to him, you know, all the pranks, the humiliation the bullying whatever. he was still a friend to me when I needed him to be I'll never forget the first time he actually stood up for himself <laughs> it was early sophomore year and well for a guy his size he could throw a solid punch I guess after that I sort of gained some respect for him or something like that Peter helped me out during a uh, difficult time in my life. You know, I didn't exactly have a picture-perfect home life. My dad wasn't around much, and when he was, he was around. Uh, anyways, when things got bad, Peter and his aunt helped me out a lot probably more than they should have. He even let me stay with them for a few weeks. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, I didn't really want people to know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know they talked about Aunt May Look, every so often. Death hit everyone hard, and I'm sure never going to see Aunt May at all. Artist and Look, MJ, we're not best friends, and I'm not going to pretend like we are, and I don't know what Peter's going through or what you're going through. But you can't do it alone. Pete's a good guy. He'll come around. He always does. Flash. Thank you. So, you and Liz. Ah, uh, so you saw us. Yeah. Yeah, well, she's not exactly my number one fan right now. The whole military thing doesn't really sit right with her. Oh, wow, okay. Isn't your uh, going away party in a couple weeks? Sure, and I hope to see you there with Harry and Peter. I doubt we'll ever, I don't know if they'll ever dive into any more after this fan film, but I would love, hey, thank you for subscribing. I would love, I would love to see their version, their, their situation of, of Venom with Flesh and Peter and everything. That would be amazing. I doubt that they will because already they've given us so much. We're in the first hour and so much awesome goodness no support them link in the description i haven't seen harry in weeks i 
I don't even know if he's in the city. You didn't know? No, what? Osborne's back in town. Funny I saw him earlier this week. Really? Yeah. So anyways, if you see him, tell him I'd like to see him at the party. Flash. It was good seeing you. Good seeing you too, MJ. Like, I would lo I think this is the perfect setup for a, a flash like this. Leading into him Venom-wise. And then Peter, as Spider-Man, of course, teaming up with Venom to take on Carnage. I, I, I always, I need that at some point. Live action. I want it. I want Venom working with Spider-Man to take on Carnage. I need that. <laughs> I think this universe would be really good for that. Spider-Man says anyone can win a fight when the odds are easy. He's gonna say the kid. He gains his strength, plants himself down, and he lifts until he's free from the rubble. With a flip of a kick and a little bit of webbing, Spider-Man. I'm not interrupting. Let's go! Damn, in this universe, there's a lot of Spider Man merch. <laughs> Spider-Man, your comic book collection. We we didn't think the Daily Bugle would get you the letter. I'm, I'm friends with one of their photographers. Well, I mean, we can't can't thank you enough. Um, I'm gonna get uh, some coffee. Can I get you anything? No, I'm okay. Don't know if they'll go into this. I don't know if you, a lot of you guys who are watching know, but basically, this kid's going to pass away, and that's this is his one wish kind of thing, and. And this actually does happen in Spider-Man. Um, if you guys, if he needs anything, just, just call for me, okay? I love how the, the classic Spider-Man cartoons on. I heard Craven the Hunter. What the? Like it all this? Oh, it's from the cartoon. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? The newspaper that the Daily Beagle ever wrote about you. Well, almost. I crossed off all the bad things I said. How did you? How did you get all these? I collect everything about you. Look. <laughs> I think it's funny in this universe. That they actually made that there's legit a cartoon of Spider Man with James jo uh, Jameson in it and and Craven. You have some of the web things from your fights with the bad guys. You know how it works? 
<laughs> when I was a little older than you, I designed these so I could move around the city faster. I made this special web for it. I would put it into these cartridges. And when it's ready, you pull down on this trigger and it shoots a web. Here, you try. <laughs> Sure did. After, you know, a lot of trial and error. Wait, stay here. I need to show you more. <laughs> I doubt we'll ever get something like this in the in like actual like movie oh, Spider-Man. Oh, I love. This is such a great fan film. I'm probably gonna title this the best fan film. I think this one is my favorite. Wait, actually, not that one. Uh, I think it's uh, Both of these are my favorite, but also... Uh, no, I've never actually worn that before. You haven't? Nope. <laughs> All these people making toys off of him, and he doesn't get a dime! Huh. Well, this one I gotta destroy. I like this a lot because you look like a ninja when you wet those stuff and stuff. This one I got at um, the game store. Uh, the game that plays to this, I love. And this I saw from the movie. I don't know why your suit is Tim, black and red. In this, uh, this is crazy. Wait, 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 wait. Was that a Miles Morales reference right there? Hold up. And this I saw from the movie. I don't know why your suit is Tim, black and red. In this, uh, that's a Miles Morales reference. Let's go. <laughs> this is great and all. Uh, why not Captain America? Or, or Thor? What do you mean? Wow, they're bringing in more Marvel characters. Okay. Why me? Uh, oh, they're cool and all, but... I, I... He wants to be you. Is this you? Yeah, it was a project for school. We had to draw our hero, but I didn't really know what you looked like. He's gonna take his mask off. Oh my god, they're doing it! Why don't you, uh... Why don't you show me how this game works? Okay. And the mask menace? Oh, we get a little segment of them playing oh, video games ago. Let's go. I'm 10, but I'm turning up. My birthday is in August. Nice. Uh, same month to me. Really? Yep. These days, I tend to forget it. <laughs> so this is me, huh? Yeah. This is so you can jump. This is so you can move. This is so you can swing. And this is so you can fight people. Wow. I'm impressed. Here, you try. Okay. This is a very wholesome moment. Hey, Spider-Man. What happened to the girl on the bridge? He wasn't able to save her.
forged a strong son. Stand up for yourself. Quit being a coward. You embarrassed me again, Harry. You need to man up and fix this. I'm sending him off to boarding school. He just doesn't have the spirit of an Osborne. No son of mine flunks out of high school. Crying again? Where is that going to get you in life? We're more powerful than most people on this planet, and you're wasting everything you have. You are not an Osborne. Damn, is it raining hard? not true, right? They're lying. The Beagle always lies about you. Tim. It's my fault. She's gone because of me. A lot of people are now, and I can't do anything about it. No matter how hard I try, I can't do this. Uh, look, I'm not the hero that you think I am. And, and this, all of this, it's, it's not me. But you tried to save her. I saw the videos. The Beagle's making up stories like they always do. It's not the same. There's more to it that you wouldn't understand. What about these stories? When you stopped the whole Sinister Six by herself? Or you stopped the whole Brooklyn Bridge Tim. from collapse? Sinister Six already happened? These stories. They're just that. Stories. Written by people that I've never even met before. I just think you're looking at me like someone that I'm not. I don't understand. I know. You're... Just a kid. Uh, come on, don't break his... Don't break his image of you. Tim. I think I might be able to help you understand it. A little better. Sit down. I got my powers from an accident. Oh my god, so this entire, like, backstory talking is him telling the story to this kid? Oh my god, so the beginning and everything up to this point has been him explaining this, what's going on to the, to him! Oh, I love the direction, I love that! Five years ago, it could have happened to anyone. I'm not special. A spider was trapped in a beam of radiation. I only had a minute left to live. And I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Don't know how to say your name, but thank you for subscribing. It could have been different. If I'd been there a second later, I could die just a second earlier. I didn't ask for any of this to happen. But I took the cards I was dealt and made a choice. I was only looking out for number one. Myself. Oh, Uncle Ben! I created Spider-Man and exploited it for money. For fame. 
I had what no one else on the planet had. And it felt good. Choices come with consequences. It all came down to one moment. It always does. It could have been different. someone I cared about because I was too selfish to think about anyone else because I didn't understand what these powers meant what they were supposed to be those choices those moments they put us on a path for better or worse I wanted revenge just stood in the way or stuck my foot out. It could have been different. There's no changing the past. I had to live with what I did. The goblin took me back to that same warehouse and made it clear. The cycle never ends. There isn't a day that goes by where I'm not reminded of it. And it all started with this costume. It was the greatest mistake of my life. Now everyone else is paying for it. But you're a hero. You saved all those people. And how many others suffered because of it? Not as many. Uh, yes. Some people did die. But you do a lot of good. And I'm hoping... I know this kid's gonna help him see that. What's this? It's a history scrapbook about you. The history of Spider Man! I can't do this. I'm sorry. Wait, Spider Man! Spider Man, you can't!
article on it now. At the end of the movie, he comes back to what, look at that scrapbook. I saw Flash last night. He asked about you. We were right about him and Liz. Where did you go? It doesn't matter, MJ. I just want to understand. You want it? You should have stopped me. For what? Harry, you have to talk to me. I can't help you if you help can't. Help me. Why do you care so much? Not worth it. I know you're still taking the pills. Why do you keep hurting yourself? Here, you have to tell me you what's need going on. To stop. No. I know I was at that cemetery. Because I had nowhere else to go. Not after Tantai, not after Gwen. You know, Pete was going to propose to her. He had a ring and everything, and I was there with him when he got it. I helped him as much as I could. second there, I really thought I could make him proud. I thought I was living up to my name for once, but the second I start to feel some sort of importance he's taken from me. I don't know, maybe if I, maybe if I had stayed and things would have been different, but I ran. And now I'm stuck with these. They're all I have left. And I know that they're destroying me. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. my whole life trying to be someone else trying to be the girl that everyone knew you don't think I came back from this party sobbing you don't think I went to sleep every night the same scared girl I've always been you're convinced that you're the only one hiding but I'm right here with you I understand Harry there's more to me than people know. But it doesn't matter. Because I have you. And Peter. And we had Gwen. I don't know 
know if you'll remember this. It feels so distant. It was a night in the summer. Fourth of July weekend. I want to just pause for a second because God damn. All these people who are portraying these characters are doing a fucking fantastic job. Please support these guys. Link in the description once again. It was raining. And the four of us were there. We were all waiting to watch the fireworks go off. But it was raining so hard we didn't know if they ever would. Everyone had their own umbrellas, except for Peter and Gwen. They were under just one. And it was a small umbrella, too. So they had to sit close to each other. It was one of their first dates as a couple. One of the first times just the four of us were all together. We waited and waited for the fireworks. Eventually, we all wanted to leave. Except for you. You convinced us to stay just a little longer. And sure enough, the sky lit up with fireworks. And the night wasn't the same after that. Everyone became just a little bit brighter. We all got just a little bit closer. And you made it one of the most memorable nights of our lives. Oh, I was so confused at what was about to happen. <laughs> I shouldn't be here. Wait, what happened? Look, whoever he thinks I am, I'm not. You see mad lines. Figure it out. The Daily Bugle? That's why you're giving up? It's about the truth. It isn't fair that your son should look up to someone who isn't half the hero that what he thinks What did you say of. to him? I told him what he needed to hear. He's better off. You just don't get it, do you? I don't know. That little boy has looked up to you his entire life. He has watched you save thousands of people. He's read every bugle slander, and it didn't matter because you were his hero. That's what he thinks. Turn around. Go look at the scrapbook. Please, please. So it doesn't matter what you think about yourself. Because he deserves somebody to believe in. He doesn't have anything else. So, please, give him something to believe in. Hey, buddy. Uh, about what I said. I was wrong. After I told you about what happened, I... I wasn't thinking straight. I'm sorry. So, you wanted to show me the scrapbook? Oh, oh yeah. Well, yeah, it's, uh... We have to show you from the beginning. Okay.
go. Well, here's from the first time you fought Vulture on the water tank. This does take me back. And the first time you fought Sandman at Midtown High, you had to flip him over instead of punching him. That's right. I had to <laughs> so I wouldn't break my hand. Oh, and here's when you first fought Electro. Uh, right, with the rubber gloves. And Doc Ock, and Rhino, and Lizard, and Scorpion, and Mysterio. Oh, the oh, Sinister Six! You had to lift that building up to save all those people when you first fought the Sinister Six. Wow. Yep. And when you saved the bridge from the Rhino, and when you stopped Vulture from returning to the Doodle Bridge. Can't save every single person, but you still do fucking work and good. <laughs> it's always karaoke night. Guys, Quinn, I, I tried to get her on time. I, I really did. Oh, your bike was stolen. Is that going to be a rule? Are you studying this? Told you guys you'd be late. Thanks, Eric. How you doing, buddy? Couldn't be better. Peter, guess who we saw in the Phoenix Wing? Flash Thompson lived out. Say, Shark, don't forget to me. If you ever need anything, I'm gonna call away. Wait, um, Spider-Man? Yeah, Tim? Well, I was just wondering if you could do one last thing for me. Anything. What is it? 
Could you tell me who you really are? They're actually gonna do that, okay. I've never shown anyone my true face before. If any of my enemies find out who I am, people I love get hurt. You can trust them. Come on, do it. Can I trust you? You're Peter Parker. You're, you're the photographer in all the Daily Bugle newspapers. Yeah. mask it means something to a lot of people you reminded me of that today do you have to go <laughs> this is sad and heartwarming all at the same time <laughs> Sandman and Rhino on the Daily Bugle building. Yeah. <laughs> Bigger than that, too. Let him put on the mask. Let him put on the mask. Thank you, Peter. Spider-Man be back? I'm always in the neighborhood. I was kind of hoping... And this would make this would have this was something I would have said. I, 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 I love this. I was kind of hoping he would say, "Spider-Man is back," and you helped him come back. Something like that. That would have been so good, and that would have been more heartwarming. There's a lot of heartwarming in this right now, but that would have been so good for him, for the kid. Oh, this is so good. I wish we could have taken that trip. Not gonna lie, but if they did a flatline sign there, I don't know how would I felt about that. <laughs> oh God! I wish I could hold you one more time, just for a second. Comment down below. Were you guys worried that it was going to be a, a flatline sound effect at the end of those beeps? I'm, I'm not probably the only one that thought that for a second. I, I would have proposed. That would have been a really bad dark turn. I propose. 
<laughs> Not bad as an actual bad, but you know what I meant. <laughs> uh. I'm sorry for failing. I'm sorry for not saving you. I was supposed to protect you. I, um, I met this really cool kid. His name is, his name was Tim. reason I told him who I am he didn't have I'm actually tearing up god damn it <laughs> a lot of time when after you died I was ready to quit forever and I've always been ready to hang up the costume but it was different this time it felt like I had no one to live for it was selfish. But Tim helped me see a little more clearly. He asked about you, actually. You would have liked him. He was a good kid. I'm not ready to love again. Not sure if I'll ever be. But I think, I think I'm ready to try and live again. I'm ready to wait, 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 wait. I saw I, I saw but I Ben. Think... Oh, who's the... Oh, okay, okay. I think I'm ready to try and live again. It's what you would have wanted. It's what Ben and your father would have wanted too. This is bigger than me. And I will always be Spider-Man. Not because I want to. But because I have to. Because out there, there are people just like Tim. And they need to believe in good. I don't think I'll ever get over you. Or your death. I don't want you to think this, this tape is me trying to forget you either. I'll never forget you. Don't think of this as a goodbye tape. It's more of a checking in tape. So here I am. Checking in to say hi. And I miss you. I miss you, Gwen. Jay, how much is your, your... Not much. Just the end. Hey, Pete. Hey. Can I get you guys anything? Water or coffee? I, I think we're okay. Listen. We all know I'm not good at these kinds of things. <laughs> Rubik's Cube. You know, I remember my first day at ESU. My dad stopped the limo right up front. He turned to me and said, You better be worth all this. Oh, 
all my life I had these big dreams of adding to his legacy. Dreams of doing these worthwhile things together, just us, father and son. And I tried, you know. I wanted to make him proud more than anything. But there I was, barely maintaining his C average, getting hooked on pills. Oh, wow. When I met you. <laughs> this guy who didn't even have to dream because he already had it all. But that's besides the point. The point is, my best friend, you've always been there for me. And I went and ran off when I should have been there for you. You be needed each other, let's be honest. Last summer. It's the night you asked went out for the first time. Thanks for subscribing. She wouldn't stop talking about it with everyone. Lightened up every time your name was mentioned. She's, she said she'd only date me if uh, I got her the plush toy from the carnival. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you were trying at it for at least half an hour. I could have been there long. I thought that Pushing people away would fix things. Put an end to it all. And in the process, I said a lot of things that I didn't mean. But we need each other. Living alone isn't living. If it was, then what would this mean? You two are my best friends. The only ones who understand. I can't lose you too. Gotta keep moving on. For her. For everyone. This is over. Pete, MJ mentioned something about Flash's going away party. I, uh, I, I totally forgot about that. It's 6.30 tomorrow night, if you think you can make it. I have to go take care of something at Oscorp. You need a ride home? No, you go ahead. I'll be there in a sec. Here. Sorry about your dad. Six thirty tomorrow. I'll be there. You all right, Tiger? Oh! <laughs> you know I didn't hear when I said it. <laughs> Send the ferry. No. It was a wake-up call. And I needed it. No, but I shouldn't have said it. I didn't realize until now. Not that I know you. What you're dealing with. Stop. Hey. 
we all lost something. Not just me. Thank you. And not just Harry. All of us. But I think we gained something too. It's funny how life works out like that. Can I get some sleep? I'll try. Do me a favor, Peter. Say hello for me. And tell Gwen that I miss her too. I'm still wondering how they still haven't, like, they. I'm still wondering if the world will ever know that Norman Osborn was the Green Goblin or anything like that. Parker's gonna be here? He said he'd be here. Uh, you know him. Classically late. Mm. I'm sure he'll be here soon. Cool. Cool. He's swinging in well, soon. Uh, drinks are <laughs> in the back. All on me. And uh, come on, there's a couple people I want to introduce you guys to. Oh? Bruh, get in there! <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. No! I did the thing! <laughs> So fucking good. Both alive and gone. Now I will say one thing. There's a good bit of time. And the one villain or anything they didn't talk about in the scrapbook. I didn't hear Venom. I didn't hear Carnage. Is there going to be something in the credits? Dun, dun, dun. 
so fucking good! Claps non fucking stop! Claps non fucking stop in the comments. I don't know, this might even. I, this is. This is big. This is huge. This was amazing. They did a fantastic job on the dark side, the the very deep side of Spider-Man and what he goes through. This is outstanding. This is the pinnacle of fan-made stuff. As a Spider-Man fan as myself and everything, this is undeniably one of the greatest ones I've ever seen. I, I know they're probably not going to continue this because who knows. Maybe they will, but who knows. Anyone can win a fight when the odds are easy. It's when... It's... Uh, it's when the going tough, when there seems to be no chance, that's when it counts. Everybody that worked on this project, everybody who put a moment into this creation deserves every bit of support. So fucking good. Oh. <sighs> 10 out of 10, I'm watching this again! <laughs> so good! Shocker Goon 1, Shocker Goon 2, Shocker Goon 3. <laughs> the Shocker Goons. Uh, shout outs to everybody who helped make this a reality. Shout out to all the actors. Shout out to everybody, the co producers, all that stuff. Everybody who is associated. Everybody. Yep. Everybody. I will be skipping a little bit of this if there is something at the very end. Let me see. I just want to see. Uh, there's also a piano. This is definitely a piano song, a rendition of a song. Uh, I think I, I recognize it too. Crew. I think once it gets to here, this is probably like a bunch of like the supporters and people that probably help fund this. I'm assuming this is gonna be like GoFundMe stuff. Once we get there, I'll probably skip. I just want to give everyone else who did everything, who was part of this, their moment. So fucking good. So fucking good. And I hope you guys enjoyed this long very long reaction it's probably going to be one of my longest reactions on the channel and I still stay to my statement uh, stick to my statement this for what it was better than the flash movie <laughs> and they did not have nearly as high of a budget some of the some of the recent movies that are were this outbeats them. Modeling, animator, all that stuff. 
I have no idea how long this has been in production. Like, like I said, I watched the trailer that they released over a year plus ago for this. But I truly do not know the uh, the length and how long this has been in development. Alright, it doesn't seem to be any... I want to go to their channel for a quick second, though. Let's go to their channel for a quick second. Oldest. Let's see... Okay, so it looks like Lotus funding now opened. Lotus has been around for roughly two years, maybe more, almost three years probably. Somewhere between two and three years. So, okay. For two plus to three, I'm going to just say, I'll, I'll, I'll round it up. I don't doubt, let me see. Let me see if this actually has anything like date-wise. No, it doesn't have anything date-wise. Wait. Uh, January. Okay, so literally what? That would be... Okay, so this this has been in production for two and a half to... A little bit more than two and a half years. Almost two years and seven months this took to, to make. That is crazy awesome. Crazy good. Shout out to this channel. Shout out to everything. Seriously. Well deserved. Oh, like no joke. I need to see this. This is this this has to hit 10 million views. Easily within the first week or two. 10 million views within the first week or two. I need to see that happen. I'll be checking on this every other day to see how much more this is growing. And if you guys still haven't watched this yourself. Or anything like that. You're doing yourself not a favor. Go enjoy this. Share this around. Support, 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 support. I'd love them to do another one. I hope they do. But who knows. They definitely deserve it. And if they have a funding thing for the next project. Definitely support them. They definitely deserve every bit. Fantastic. And my only hope. Is Venom. And Carnage. That'd be amazing. That's just my, that, that, that's what, just what I would love. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Uh, comment down below. And if you guys enjoyed this reaction, you know what to do. Check out more. Recommend me more. All that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Once again, show your support to this channel. Link in the description. Do it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.